How many people here would say, from your knowledge of Brian's work, that Brian's work is revolutionary? Raise your hand if you would say that it's revolutionary. Great. Well, that, that's what I hope you'll all say when we finish here. I hope I can do justice to giving Brian this platform um, to uh, tune everyone into how incredibly revolutionary his perspective is. This wonderful book, Cosmogenesis, is like a sister book to uh, Universe is a Green Dragon. Um, when I got that book, I closed myself in my room and I shut the door and I read it straight through. You know, Brian is to Thomas Berry, who turned out to be his real connection to the depth of it all. Um, Brian is to Thomas Berry as I am to Brian. When Brian came along, that became my world. And it's been decades, you know, uh, and and it only deepens this book. The universe is a green dragon is all the ideas that Brian has, all the picture. That, uh, and this book, Cosmogenesis, is who's Brian who's who's coming up with all this stuff. So the path that Brian was on that got him to deliver um, this body of work um, is um what what cosmogenesis is about and for me you know being so in love with the work finding out who this personality is i had to take you off the pedestal brian i had to take you off the god pedestal and now you're human but isn't that nice because we're all human and now we can see you know what you went through uh it's very personal and you know kind of racy a little bit <laughs> and uh, maybe we could do a mini series uh but um it's so wonderful to have that corollary. Uh, and, and it took me even deeper. In fact, I wanted to, I, I thought I would start by asking you, um, uh, when I had, there was some quote, um, let's see. Okay. Oh, so I, about that work and Thomas Berry, um, the, the wonderful thing about, uh, attuning to this work is it, it, something Thomas, when, when Brian first met Thomas Berry, he, he, here's what he said. He gave off the aura of celebration as if he were in the middle of a vast cosmic party that I wanted to join with all my heart. You know, as hard as the, this world is on the Brian train, you are personally uh, inspired to love the world and to love helping the world. And it's such a wonderful attitude to be able to assume in this world, you know? Uh, so Brian, I, I thought I would ask you, um, first of all, uh, why, why you wrote this, why you wrote Cosmogen? I mean, you really gave us the whole thing in, in Universe of the Green Dragon. As Thomas Berry said, when he got a hold of Universe of the Green Dragon, Nobody has to write any more books, <laughs> something like that. So, he so he said, "I didn't have to. I didn't have to oh, write anymore." Oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's me. You see, that's my adoration yeah. of you. Yeah. Nobody has to write any more books. Okay. Uh, so, so why did you write this one? Yeah, I would, I would, I would, I would like to answer that, but I would like to begin just by saying that. Uh, you know, I just have so much appreciation for <clears throat> for all the work, Suzanne, you put into uh, bringing us together. I mean, all of us are are enormously um, you know, busy with work, important work, and it's it's just hard to um, to get leaders together. And I think it's I, I I'm not saying anything new here, but. Um, it, it just is such a such an important task to <clears throat> to bring um, you know thought leaders together. Everybody here is has, has put in decades of reflection, and we we can't um, <clears throat> you know we can't really uh, diverge off from our pathways. But by by 
being together and reflecting on on some of these questions together, each of us, I I, I believe, will will find inspiration for our own path. So, it, but I mean, I really appreciate it, Suzanne. It's just so important for. And one of the saddest things is when and when uh, leaders, elders, um, you know, fight with one another and compete. You know, and then all that envy and so forth. And uh, Suzanne, you you bring us all together. You're like um, going to a party and and you are the alcohol. It just makes everybody relax and, you know, get to know one another. So it's um, <clears throat> just, and, you know, the many of you I have either uh, worked with, you know, or have have admired, you know, for decades. So it's this is a personally a really meaningful moment for me, and I, and, it's, and it's all because of you, Suzanne. So thank you. My um, I I like Suzanne said, <clears throat> I spent my entire professional life, um, uh, teaching courses, and and you know writing books on the evolution of the universe. Uh, you know, that's really all I did over and over again, different angles. You know, I tried not to be um, repetitive. I always tried to bring something. I, I I loved hearing those quotes from Hidden Heart. I just, I try to bring something new, you know, otherwise why, why write a book? But, but the odd thing was, um, I realized, at, I realized I left, I left myself out. So even though, even though I, I tried my whole life, I've been working hard to escape the dualism from Descartes, of you know thinking of of um, consciousness is inside my brain here, and then I'm looking out and I'm learning about the world. So I've been explicitly trying to deconstruct that in my life, and I realized it, it was it's so deep that I I didn't even notice that the organizing metaphor of all my work was a scientist looking out at the objects out there. So I, I just said, I've got to include myself. I'm an object in the universe. I, I have to include myself in telling the story of the universe. So it, it's, it's, I told the, I, the way I thought about it was tell the story of the universe, including the story of the storyteller. <clears throat> because um, my own, you know, all of us, I'm sure, know that we we go through this evolution of understanding. So I, I had a very clear idea of how to tell the story of the universe when I was in grad school, you know, in my 20s. And then I had a very clear idea of how to do it in my 30s. You know, it kept changing, not 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 denying what it was said before, but you know, a deepening and and sometimes big shifts. So that was that was the hope was um, to tell the story of the storyteller. And <laughs> you know, um, uh, <laughs> one of the one of the kind of what, here's the one of the funny things is that um, when people have gotten back to me, uh, the, well, they'll say, "Oh, Brian, you you made yourself so vulnerable." You know, you're so honest. And I, I started to realize, you know, maybe I put in too many of my, my negative aspects. I mean, but I wanted to really be honest. And, and, and my, main, my main point was, <clears throat> in a certain sense, I wanted to deconstruct the, uh, the idea that, that I knew the story of the universe. Right? So that people would think of me as a person, oh, he's somebody who knows the story of the universe. I mean, I know some stuff, but... But I, my own conviction is that um, there are there are multiple stories of the universe, and um, you know we to, just to think of of a human being as a a thing that the universe is doing that that really helped me that each of us is this thing that the universe is doing so. By which I mean that, um, you know, everything about me, the way I breathe, that came from the fish. You know, the way I, the, my brain electricity came from the, 
the, the primate nervous systems and so forth and so on, so that uh, each of us is, is simultaneously a, new, a unique individual and the whole universe. And, and um, you know, there isn't ever going to be a uh, <clears throat> story of the universe that is, that's universal. There, rather, the, the story of the universe will manifest in the, the billion, billions of different ways of um, any human being that reflects upon uh, existence. However, and, however yeah. the, the underlying idea of that is, um, Thomas Berry said, your destiny is to tell the universe story. And here it is. From a fixed cosmos, where the human agenda is the ultimate meaning, to a cosmogenesis where the creativity of the universe is the fundamental meaning. And that's a profound transformation of humanity. It's that central idea that if everyone grasped it, we'd be in a different place. Uh, if everyone appreciated being uh, the outgrowth of billions of years, and now it's us. The real challenge for us is to is is to go from the knowledge to the experience to experience ourselves as the entire universe in the form of a human 